Did you know that in my videos when I speak to Hilton, I am actually speaking to my friend who is named Hilton and not, in fact, referencing the high-end hotel chain Hilton Hotels? Did you also know that while Hilton doesn't have any video upload schedules, he has over the years put up a rather vast collection? A lot of Hilton's videos are recordings of the same things in my videos from Hilton's point of view, with a less condensed editing style and a sped up speed. So our voices sound higher pitched as a result. We gotta, we gotta use the box and the pole to weigh this part. I, well, I would imagine so. To weigh yeah. this part down. I wasn't finished my sentence, you cheese. Whoa! Language. For this list, I won't be including much of the stuff that's on my channel as well, so... Yes. Surprisingly enough, Hilton has been at work on his channel since 2008, and he made his beginning as a Spore YouTuber, hence the name Fire Spore. This era of his channel is flooded with classics. Random floating creature, making a funky cell, extreme Bordeaux, Spore Basketball, Super Sizer, Big Feet. But for my money, the number 10 spot has to go to the place it all began, breaking the sonic barrier in Spore Test Drive mode. The very first video. Without this, we would never have seen 1 through 9. A lot of Hilton's Minecraft videos play out more like a podcast, episode 26 being one of them. Hilton mines and farms while Tasia and I discuss our cartoon crushes growing up. That was Owen's favorite. <laughs> I actually shipped her with um, Drew. Nobody's ever it. really going to be as good for him as Misty. What? 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 <laughs> Ooh, discourse. Gary Oldman's character in Kung Fu Panda 2. Who was uh, that? Oh, the peacock. peacock. Yeah. Uh, the, sorry, the peacock? Light discourse ensues, and Hilton and Tasia both learn to fly with the wings. Okay. Go. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Almost all of our Minecraft plays have been documented through Hilton's videos, and while these two episodes of our third Minecraft world are nothing of Hilton's creation, Maya's Minecraft designs make for an absolutely awe-inspiring and cinematic episode. I can't breathe underwater! No, just keep going, die. just keep going, just keep going! We're all gonna die! Just go fast, go fast! <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can! I'm gonna die! Wow. <coughs> oh my gosh. Wow! Holy smoke! Zach was trying to compete with this. Yeah. He, well, <laughs> Zach is still trying to compete with this with his aquarium. He just hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, so. really? <laughs> These episodes are the climactic payoffs for most of the players and the viewers, and I'll admit, it feels really nice to have been part of building Atlantis, even though it was 95% Maya. Oh, jeez. It's right inside, right inside, right Oh my goodness, so little late. Just a little lazy is not really ever a word I would use to describe your designs in this game. Minecraft A New Episode 29 opens with Hilton rolling my favorite random command on the server. I love when Hilton edits outside sounds and images into his videos, and while it's rare for Minecraft, in this episode he was willing to do it at least twice. God, he's got a lot of health. It's like a destiny boss. <laughs> got him. Beat him. Oh. That's the sound of speed. <laughs> oh man. Hilton, you know what to do with that part of the video. Even going as far as to take my editor's notes and add a fade to the Sonic music, followed by him being trolled by Maya to pick up random garbage, and then being trolled by me on the rails, and then being trolled by Tasia, pimping his house against his will. This video really does have it all. Hilton's 2019 recap video was such an inspiration to me that it inspired me to make what quickly became one of my favorite videos of my own channel. Like any yearly recap video, it condenses the most memorable moments of the year into a tighter collection of consistent quality. There's not much to say about this type of video. It's rare that Hilton records an intro to a video. After a desperate relocation effort of some animals into Hilton's farm, we built a track for this sheep to manually force him into his new pen, and yet. Uh, anyone else got any words to say? Nope, let it rip. <laughs> cool. Well, we can cover this hole up and forget anything ever happened. Oh, and I threw the dirt in there too. Now, Hilton and everyone else has spent countless hours trying to convince me that this video is nothing special. And I'll be real, I bet you thought this was going to be number one, Hilton, didn't you? 
But even I can look past the absolute classic m -Circ meme status of this video to understand that nothing happens for a good six minutes, but the slow build over the course of this playthrough leads to one of the most climactic endings in Hilton video history. Maybe even history period. The science hasn't come back on that yet. Advice ball, let us escape together. No! <laughs> What do we even ship? What do you even ship? Tell me one tell me one thing you ship, Genghis Khan. Potatoes. <laughs> Floppy Boys Face Again number four, The Rest of Water, includes a couple of absolutely iconic moments that into the future I should hope are never forgotten. Hilton's editing masterwork of including two steps from hell for his dramatic climbing attempt. As a flesh beast, it's my prerogative to evolve and adapt. <laughs> Now you too, though. Couple of very important lines. What is the blood of water? Life water is the blood of life. <laughs> this is one for the history books, lads. I'll admit, I'm a sucker for top 10 lists as long as they come from someone I know or follow. Hilton told me on multiple occasions that he would not be making this video, and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that he actually had made it. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a perfect sequel to its previous game. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a perfect sequel to the first game. And it is astounding how much work is packed into this $30 game. It's a far cry from what I expect from one of Hilton's videos, but he pulled it off very well in spite of it being so far out of his usual comfort zone. Also, the way he ends this video sounds like he's the last human on Earth, leaving a tape recording for any other potential survivors to find. If you happen to stumble upon this video just by chance, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. But either way, it's nice to know if other people are, are even seeing this stuff. Happy New Year. Now, Hilton tells me that he's not going to make another one for this year. We'll see about that. Welcome to the... I don't even know what I'm saying. This is Blaster 6868 coming at you. This is Blaster 6868 coming at you. It's my favorite Pokemon fight design, the tournaments. We've got a bracket running. I said earlier that I loved Hilton's image edits, and that some of the videos play out more like a podcast. Picking my favorite Pokemon design has both of these things to the furthest level, and plenty of Pokemon discussion discourse. Hatan is my least favorite Pokemon. That is so every rude. Single one. Take a step back. I think I'm gonna go with my shadow. <gasps> I don't have the angry mobile picture ready. Hold on. I saw a guy with a with a uh, not a Noivern but a Noibat tattoo. Oh, why? It was really cool. It was like super neat kind of style. Like it was like. So what do you got against Noibat? Noibats are cute. It's like a stained glass kind of image of a Noibat in a vial. Yeah, but you could have picked any Pokemon you picked Noibat. It's probably his favorite. <laughs> what do you it's mean? A stupid favorite. Whoa! Ooh. You're a stupid favorite. <laughs> yeah, put Noibat on the list. Put <laughs> on the list and make him <laughs> Put Zack on the list and then take him off. <laughs> <laughs> make oh. Zack our man in hand. I would love this to somehow become a series, but it's hard to imagine another one of these ever reaching the same natural quality that this video manages to hold for its entire 20 minute duration. Legitimately one of my favorite videos in general.